creating YouTube, a lot of the time when I'm discussing things here on my channel or I encounter them on um, other channels, particularly the Young Turks, the topic of regulations comes up. And here's the reality. People like some regulations and they don't like others. And no one can really agree on which category all the regulations fall into because people tend to like the regulations that benefit them and they don't like the regulations that they consider an onus, onus, onerous burden upon them. But the regulation, for example, that says that my neighbor up the hill can't build a, uh, an outhouse above my well is one that I encourage. And I don't care that it means that he cannot put his outhouse there. He may have to put his outhouse someplace else or have to actually get tied into a municipal, municipal sewer system. I'm indifferent to that. Why? Because I want clean water. And my right to clean water supersedes his right to willy-nilly dispose of his bodily weights anywhere he desires. In a similar vein, I want really strong irregulations on how corporations get rid of their waste, their solid waste, their liquid waste, their, their gaseous waste, all of their waste. We don't have enough regulations. We don't have near enough inspectors to make sure the regulations that we do have are enforced, and corporations are always trying to push the regulations as far away from them as possible, because if they actually had to deal with the ramifications of what they make, that would cut into their profit. And they can't have that now, can they? So the problem is, is that each of us says, well, these regulations are good and these regulations are bad. But the person next door may think, well, these regulations are useful to me and the ones that you like aren't. So we all disagree. So the best we can do is come up with a, a, a list of regulations that benefits the maximum number of people in the best possible way. So it's, it's pretty much a compromise that's going to piss off almost everybody. But we need these regulations to make sure that we have safe water, safe food, safe air, safe earth, that we make sure that we're not spreading diseases, to make sure that we have um, freedom of expression, to make sure that our voting rights are not being, being infringed by onerous regulations of one kind or another. Uh, for example, voter ID laws. We need to make sure that we have regulations on corporations and make sure that, that for example, a regulation that says you must pay all the taxes that you owe, which they don't ever in America. Regulations that say, okay, you must pay a minimum wage, which is far too low. Regulations that say you can't make someone work more than X number of hours in a day or X number of hours in a week or more than a specific number of days in a row. And I think it's 13 hours, 13 days in a row in America. But that just may be a New Hampshire thing. I'm not 100% sure, but at least in New Hampshire, you can't make someone work more than 13 days in a row. You have to give them a day off, and then you can make them work 13 more days in a row. Um, it's crazy. I've seen it happen. It's happened to me. Um, it's, it's nuts. But that's what can be done when the regulations are of the absolute minimum. Remember, minimum wage is the same thing as saying, I would pay you less if I could. So we need certain regulations. And they benefit us all, whether the people that believe that or not. And the people that think that businesses have too many regulations on them are not looking at the big picture and the long term picture. They're thinking short term. And of course, they're probably listening to conservative Republican pundits, which are, are selling them a line of bullshit. They're, they're doing aspirational voting. Well, someday I'm going to be rich, so I don't want to have these onerous regulations upon me, and they're never going to be rich. But they keep voting like they're going to be rich, and it benefits the 1%, and it helps to further their, the 1% and make them richer and richer and richer, while harming the person that's voting and diminishing the middle class more and more generation after generation. And they just keep going back to that same well, and it just keeps paying off for them. Middle class America and poor Americans just keep voting to harm themselves and their children and their neighbors again and again and again. 
we don't have enough regulations in America. And we don't have often the right kinds of regulations in America. And we need to do something about this. And we're not. So when people talk about regulations, step back for a second. Try to look at the big picture and see what their agenda is. Are they speaking out of ignorance? Or are they pushing some corporate agenda which they bought into? Or maybe they're being bought off. Heck, we got enough trolls here on YouTube. Um, they could literally be paid by someone to just spout BS. I mean, the Russians have an entire cadre of people that do that for a living. I'm sure that corporations do the same thing in America. Maybe they offshore them, for all I know. They hire cheaper people in other countries to make horrible comments here in America in hopes of making, uh, convincing Americans to vote against their best interests. Wouldn't surprise me in the least. So, regulations aren't bad, folks. Regulations keep us safe. And you need to ask, whenever someone wants to get rid of one, what are they really talking about? 